Ooh! What are we doing here, you ask? Well, I was just collecting some dirt. Welcome back, everybody, Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I uh, equipped myself with chain armor, but I'm going to go ahead and repair that real quick. I really like the look of it. I was in the, um, the XP grinder, and I uh, decided to put on a full set. We've got protection one, fire protection, some protection three in thorns, and protection respiration. So it's not that bad of an enchant. It could definitely be uh, better, but I'm glad I have a full set of chain armor that I can show off. Uh, but so I was in that hole in the forest there and I was clearing out some dirt because I want it <laughs> Just because you'll see uh, That actually looks pretty ugly right there Any do we have any sand? Yeah, we do. All right, let's clear that up. There we go All right, so let's make our way back to home base here And if you'll notice There's our house Where's the beam? Where's the beacon beam? Why are there a bunch of torches where it's supposed to be? And why is there normal no blah, 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 no more hole? And why are the leaves still here? Well, leaves are still there because truthfully, I just forgot to shear them. So I'll do that now. Woo! It's so fun shearing leaves. So that's done and fixed. And we just need one more sand there. That's gonna drive me crazy, so I'll put a piece of dirt. Ooh. There we go. So I've decided I'm not gonna put the beacon here. Uh, a lot of you had a good idea on making an island type dealio. I realize that'll take quite some time, uh, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a central island right here in like this bay kind of area. And then on the island, I'll have the beacon. Right now, I'm just going to set up a platform in the middle of the water that will hold the beacon. And then as time progresses, I think, okay, we've got respiration on. I think we will um, elaborate on the island. So I wanted it to just be like right here, kind of centered with the house. And now we're going to go down. And this is a deep ocean, like really deep, which is why I'm glad we have respiration on. That's certainly going to help. So let's create a pillar upwards so we have something to work with. Here we go. Wow, respiration really does a lot of good work. There we go. Uh, I want it to be kind of floatyish type, so I don't want that to stick up. There we go. Alright, let's get on land! Alright, so we want to create a 9x9. Nine nine. It shouldn't be too hard to create. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is I did mine the rest of the iron required for the beacon, so I've stored the diamonds and the gold back in the chest. That's something I wanted to do for a while because I didn't want to waste all my diamonds on the beacon. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eight nine and then one two three four five six seven eight nine this should be a good enough platform i think one two three four five six seven eight nine come on we got to do this all right and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're gonna fill it in dirt and we're gonna basically just hang it here in the middle I think it'll look better than it did over there personally and then after we get the beacon sorted we're gonna upgrade our world here to 1.7 and we're gonna go do some exploring to look at any of the new biomes that might spawn and I know I'm gonna have to travel a few thousand blocks to do that horse land is located that way where I get all my horses and that in itself is about a thousand blocks away so I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of heavy exploring. I kind of want to do it in a boat that way. I haven't explored much in that range. I know I've explored all the way around the central island. This water right here is like a bay. It's not an ocean. It doesn't lead to ocean. There's land surrounding all of it, but it's just really huge. I've already explored a lot of it, so I know what's up. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get the iron required to do this thing. Alright, so we've got two stacks and 36. I actually went overboard. I only needed 34, but I collected more iron than I, than I uh, had expected that I would get because I wasn't really doing the calculations in my head. So if we do this and do 9x9 nine nine and fill it up completely with a stack of iron, we should get the entire floor done. I'm hoping we have enough. I thought it was 34 that we needed. I went too overboard just in case. Please tell me it's enough. Okay, come on. There we go. 
And this beacon should look nice and white and not blue and yellowish on top because that I, I didn't really like that to be honest. It wasn't really my style. I just needed to get the beacon done. But now I'm going to fancy it up a bit. So most of the iron is going to go towards the bottom of the beacon here. Like so. And now we're going to cover up the top. Which doesn't require as much iron as you know. Because we're just closing in here. There we go. Now we got to fill in this. Shouldn't take too long. Oh no, we're running out of iron. I'm getting scared. Uh-oh. Are we going to need more? Uh-oh, we only have 36 more. Come on, don't tell me we need more. I thought this was enough. I thought this was enough. Tell me this is enough. Oh no, no, no. Three. Oh, I just had enough. No way. So I did need 36. Oh my gosh, that's such a reliever. Holy smokes. Okay. <sighs> Let's get our beacon block and put it on. And, uh... Oh! Okay, so it's already powered. And a lot of you suggested speed and haste. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. How do you get two powers? Hmm. I kind of want speed, though. Speed, and then you get speed two and haste. Hmm. I'm not really sure how to work a beacon just yet. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go back into the house. We really need, like, some sort of dock here. I don't know. It looks really good so far, actually. I'm like, I'm going to have to get rid of that. That looks really ugly. The, uh, the pillar underneath. But as you guys know, I'm not the best builder in the world. So if you have any tips or suggestions, let me know. Uh, let me go ahead and grab... What was I going to grab? The iron. Oh, do I really have no extra iron after that? Okay, I'll grab a piece of gold. And we'll feed it. And let's grab a shovel in here. I could have sworn I made a shovel. Oh, I used it all in the dirt. Okay. Well, we're going to have to make another one here. I'll make a diamond shovel. And you know what? We have 30 levels. I want to do a shovel enchant because I haven't done one of those yet. And I want to see what I could possibly get. So let's go do that and see if we can get some efficiency going or maybe even some unbreaking. Something that will last me a while. It's been a while since we've been on this ride. <laughs> well, on camera. Usually I cut it, cut it out because it's one of the more boring parts. But let's put the card in and see what we get on our shovel. And we will waste all our levels. Oh, oh we've got torches covering it. Let's break those. Oh, zombies are already spawning. They're going to get annoying. We don't want that to happen. Ready? All right, let's see what we get. Come on, is Grazer lucky today? I'm breaking three, not bad. That shovel's gonna last me a while. Okay, now do I have an efficiency book? Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. I do not. The one time I need an efficiency book, I don't have one. But I did wanna show you something I did to the underground mine as we get to the other side here. Um, if we go down, and do the ride like per usual. I really need to fix this like quick. I need to mine more iron. I think I got exactly enough for what I needed, which was pretty cool. I didn't really see anything nice this time around when I went caving, which was uh, I couldn't show really much because I, I literally went into the the cave and it at somehow at some point it intersected with the other one. So, but I got what I needed, so I was happy about that. So here, what I did. Oh, this is why we have the shovel. That is something I did not notice before. Get rid of that gravel patch. And do we have our... Oh, we don't have our silk touch, so we're going to have to put it back. But I did um, I did clear out this part so it looks a bit nicer and more empty. There's not a million things going on at once now. And um, let's put that there just so we don't kill ourselves. Oh, no. That was supposed to be like that, I think. That's just not supposed to be there. And that's supposed to be there. There you go. Okay. And I think uh, all my picks that I really aren't you uh, that I really am not using is gonna are gonna stay in here, and some furnaces. Just a little setup down here before I go to the XP grinder that way. And uh, so now that we've got a diamond shovel enchant, 
I'm going to make my way back up here. And you know what? I, um, I'm looking for an alternative for these stairs here because every time I come up, I feel like I can make these nicer. So if you guys have any suggestions for the stairs, definitely do let me know. Uh, I think you can make stone brick stairs. I'm not sure though. Um, but we I'll look into that. I could not make stone stairs. So let's go take a sleep. And then we will finish up our beacon placement for now. Alright, it's time to mine this pillar. It, w it still won't look the best. I know it won't. But I think it'll look better than it did over there, so... I think we're going to have to do something here about pillaring this. We have a respiration helmet on. Oh, we got we to gotta do this quickly. We got to do it while above water for if we want to do it quickly. Yeah, underwater just takes a long time. But we have we have all the time in the world with our respiration. But we just got to get rid of this. It looks really ugly. And I didn't really notice how deep this little bay was until now. Didn't really ever do any work in it. But here we go, our beacon island, just a single beacon island. And now you notice, how are we going to get to it? Well, we need to create some sort of path walk or something to this thing. And I was thinking maybe gravel, but for now we're going to use two dirt blocks, maybe three just to make it symmetrical here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm going to feed this guy a gold ingots and we're going to do speed for now. There we go. See, we've got a lot of speed on. I like that. And, uh, oh man, I like it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a quick pathway back. Just This is why um, I collected so much dirt, by the way. Hmm. Yay or nay? I kind of want to kind of want to design it a bit more. It looks too plain for my standards. Trying to get the gist of thing, the gist, sorry, of things. It might actually look better if it was just standalone, but I kind, I kind of want a pathway that'll lead directly to it. Oh, and by the way, I love the speed of. Oh, what are you doing here, buddy? Get out of here. I kind of like this, um, the speed edition, like a lot. It really helps. Uh, I forgot to measure. Does it does it measure all the way to the back of my house? It probably doesn't. It's too far away. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Is he gonna measure all the way back here? Please do. Please do. Please do. No, it stops here. So let's see when it starts up again. Up here. Okay, so it starts here, and we run there. We got a five second boost. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think this path walk shouldn't be here though. I don't know, something about it just makes it kind of look like it just doesn't belong, in my eyes at least. Hmm. I'm trying to think. You know what I could do is I could make another path walk that comes here and that it would kind of look like it's connected, not just by one arm. Because one arm looks like it's just like, it's kind of weird looking, you know? If you know where I'm going at. Uh, we'll see what it looks like with the add-on path walk from this angle. Hmm. I think it's starting to look a bit better. If you run across it, you feel a bit more cozy here. I went ahead and got some bone meal too. I want to see what it looks like with some nice grass. Some tall grass leading to it. Hmm. Look, I think it look. I think it adds a nice touch. The grass, doesn't it? I think it looks more cozy. It feels like you're more at home. Hmm. I think it, it looks a lot better than the dirt. We have two ways to our beacon. We've got some nice flowers surrounding it. But uh, that's all I'm going to be working on the beacon today, everybody. I'm sure you have suggestions on improvements, and I want to see those in the comment section down below. Uh, but otherwise, we are going to move on to the 1.7 update here, and we're going to explore our world just a bit more for some new biomes that we might encounter. And then the, that is going to be the episode. So let's get this world updated.
Alrighty. I am now on the latest snapshot. Holy smokes. Okay, so we've got a lot of sound changes here. We want to turn this down a bit to zero. Let's just turn the master, master volume down a bit. And we will go ahead and do video settings. Holy smokes. <laughs> Why is my beacon not emitting light? Why are you not emitting light? Whoa. It's just earn the achievement taking inventory. Hmm. I don't I don't see why it's not emitting light. Don't worry guys, I do have a backup of this world. But I want to see what we can uncover on 1.7. The reeds are looking a bit different. They're looking nicer. As they're in like a beaches beaches type biome. I'm keep slurring. Um so let's go explore a bit. The generation seems awfully better. Just just way better. I can see it already just by these mountains here generating. But uh, like I said, I'm going to create a boat and head that way. I think that's where we'll have the most luck finding things. Ooh, let's get our shears. Uh, there they are. I always have trouble finding shears in my inventory. Now the thing I like most about this beacon here, and it's, it's, it's the speed, but I love it because when I need to go to sleep at night, I just open my door here. And rather than having to take so long to get up, I just go vroom, vroom, and I am here. Sleep. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. And it's daytime. So let's create a boat and go on our adventure here. Hmm, wood. We'll take, um, we'll take four logs. We'll create it into a couple boats, because knowing me, I'm going to destroy some of them. So we'll create three. That's a few. Let's check on our cats. You guys all doing fine? Cool. That's good. I did bring a lot of food along with me, and uh, as we explore, I want to get rid of uh, some of this armor, because I don't want it to break. So I'm going to just kind of wear... Um, just partial armor while we explore, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go and slap on my diamond boots, I think. No, I think we could just put on the... I don't want to wear these boots because the they're, they're just so low. And I don't want to lose... Oh my gosh. Is this beacon going to affect us underground too? Will we be able to get to our freaking XP grinder like really smoking fast? Or is it going to stop just here in a second? Yeah, it stops. Ah, dang it. I thought we, we had a, a getaway here. Oh, let's get those seeds out of my inventory here. So I'm going to put this armor back. I'm going to put my diamond armor on, full diamond, just because I like to be protective about myself. And then I will be back with you guys momentarily. You know, I've got to tell you, these reeds really do make the place look better. Makes it look more at home. That kind of feel where you just feel comfortable. So let's throw some of our stuff away. Like this, 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 that. All the pointless stuff we don't need that we took for this episode. Put this into here. Put this into here. And we'll keep the bow and sword on us. But we don't need the shovel and the pick. I don't... Th ah, we might need the pick. Nah, we won't take it. I don't think we'll need it. Ah, we might need it. I'm going to take it just in case. Um, put that away, and put those away, put those away, put the shears away. Alright, let's get going. I am excited for this bun voyage, this trip. Let's lay a boat down, and we'll rock and roll. Hopefully, uh, in this direction over here, I haven't explored too much. Now, we'll pass horse land, I know about that. That is a given. It's just about over here in the plains biome. We're going to reach it in just a sec because it's just across this bay. But what I'm hoping for is... Oh, uh, we don't got the speed anymore. That sucks. We're moving away from the habitat. Wow, it, it looks really good from far away. I don't know if that's part of 1.7 or if I'm just going insane. But it, the generation has certainly gotten better. Where's that plains? Once we hit the plain, There it is. That's the plains. There's the plains. So that's horse land right there, everybody. So now that we're passing this, we're entering into new new biomes here now. We're entering into 
things we haven't seen or or done before. So hopefully we can get some sights here. Hopefully, uh, we're seeing a desert here. I don't know if we can check this out. Maybe there's a desert temple. I have no idea. Let's get out of the boat. Boat crashed anyways. That's why I took a few. Let's get on a land here and check out the sights. I have not been here before, everyone. This desert temple has yet to be explored by me. And I don't know why I keep getting some faulty generation going on here. I've been trying to fix it for the longest time. Trying to do F3 and A at the same time. It usually works. There we go. So let's see what we got. So we got a desert biome, everybody. One of the new biomes. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm just hoping it doesn't run into ocean again. That would suck. Oh, we got a village. I have not ever seen this village before. So this is going to be quite the find. Now the question is, is there a blacksmith? And it looks like there is none. So as of now... I have not found a blacksmith in my world. I don't think there's a blacksmith here. What are the trades looking like? Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of bookshelves though. I want to keep those. Is this our fortune or silk touch? This is our silk touch. Perfect. So we're going to grab these. I'm very glad we got the bookshelves because I'm thinking I'm going to set up another enchant table so that we don't have to go all the way down to our, our zombie XP grinder every time. Uh, because sometimes we just have the levels and we just want to enchant right away. So, Whoa, that mine's fast. Holy smokes. Okay, so we do. We did find a village. That's good. So this means we have not been here yet. Let's traverse this way. We've got a jungle. Come on. Give me, give me some new biomes. I want to see some new stuff. Now, from what I've been told, the new biomes are hard to come across. This is a new feature, okay? So this is a new feature. We've got snow spawning on the top of mountains. And we've got new flowers everywhere. Holy smokes. Let's collect some of these. Collect a lot of these. You don't see these everywhere because they're only in the 1.7 generation. Hmm. There we go. Let's get a lot of these. Maybe we'll pretty up our beacon. Although I'm sure the way I've put it now is not permanent. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful over here. Look at all the flowers. Gorgeous. New flowers. So we've got the white tulip, the orange tulip, the pink tulip. Let's get a couple of those. And then we've got our sunflowers over here. They are called sunflower, right? Oh, oxide daisy. They look like sunflowers. <laughs> We got those. What else can we get? These are the same. No, these are different. What are these? Azure Bluet. That's cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And then we've got the the ice on the mountains. Ooh, we got lava here. I'm not liking that. So let's go back this way. And we'll traverse this. And this is why I said I'd probably need the pick, is because we need to get up to places and Sometimes you got to mine things to do so. I'm wondering if this is it for the land here. And it's just going to go in an ocean. It looks like it. And I'm getting false generation again. Oh, is that a spider jockey? Yeah, it is. Hang on a second. Oh, I wasn't moving there for a second. Alright, buddy. I want to see the spider jockey. What kind of sword is this? I thought it was fire aspect. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Spider jockey at its finest. I love getting that like in every one of my survival episodes. Just seeing a spider jockey. I've seen quite a bit in caves off camera actually. But uh, they're not as rare as... Oh, there's another one. Look at that. There's another spider jockey just over here. Isn't that cool? We're trying to find new biomes and we're getting everything but new biomes. That's rare. Two spider jockey spawns within... Like a radius of 50? And he dropped a bow as well. I'm getting really lucky here. So make let's make our way a bit back. Trying to look for anything else that could possibly be new here. So as I was looking around, I stumbled upon this. What is this, you ask? Well, this. This is tall grass. This is an, also another addition to 1.7. I still have not found any new biome. I think we're going to have to 
delay some of the searching till next episode because at this rate I think most of it goes in the water and because of the uh, the lack in generation sometimes I can't really tell so I just take a wild guess look we can see the inside of the ground there but um, oh, looks like there's more horses down this way if I could just see I just want to get a new biome at least one come on ah this looks like it extends for a while here. I found an like look at how far we are from the spawn. Like maybe 2000 blocks total. Our habitat is located at around 200 200, so we're pretty far off, I'd say so myself. A lot of the 1.7 generation is happening out here. So I'm glad we chose this place to explore. What is this? This isn't a new biome. This is just, um, is it? I've never really seen anything like that. I'm not sure. That looks pretty cool though. If it's not new, looks really cool. Let's go check it out a bit. If it is, oh, let's just check it when we get to the, to it on our, on our, on our F3. Stone Beach, that is new, I think. Stone Beach, what a good source of stone right here that we have because we got our silk touch with us. All the stone in the world. This is cool. Looks almost like a volcano-ish type island. All right. You want to dug you with the bow? I can dug you with the bow. Let's go over around. Up here. So we've got ourselves a stone beach, which means new biomes are certainly generating in the vicinity. Yeah, they're they're quite hard to find. I've been looking for a while. So. Oh. Oh, oh, don't knock me off the freaking wall. Oh, and the splash. I love the splash. But I've got feather falling on, so it didn't really do that much damage. Didn't even damage my books or my boots really all that much. Exploring the world really helps though. You could you get to see things you wouldn't normally see. Oh man, the stone beach would be better if I could see anything. Oh, I thought I fell in lava. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, dude, this is cool looking. Alright, stop it, stop it, stop it. I want to check this all out. Okay. So what is the actual biome called if I go up? It's extreme hills. The stone beach is most certainly new. I've never seen anything like it. Whoa. This whole thing is cool. Look at this. Waterfalls. This is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Hmm. If you play my world, certainly play on the 1.7 snapshot. We got caves in the walls over there. Very, very, very cool. But I think that's going to be it for today, everyone. I hope you did enjoy today's survival episode. If you did, remember to leave a rating and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys all next time. Don't kill me. Whoa, hold on. What is this? Is this a new revamped swamp kind of biome? Whoa. Hang on. This doesn't look like a normal swamp. What is this? Swampland. It is a normal swamp, but it doesn't look like it. Oak leaves. Looks a lot darker, doesn't it? For me, it does. I don't know. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Never mind. What is that over there? There's like bent trees over there. Hold on. <laughs> I was just about to do to close off the video here. And I know you guys were yelling at the screen telling me to check that out. Okay, this is cool. We're getting a lot of new biomes here, but what is this over here? Right over here. Whoa, dude, this looks awesome. What is this called?
tell me this this has got to be new savannah it's a savannah biome holy smokes this is gorgeous look at it we've got pumpkins we've got fires we've got freaking fires over here oh it's just the lava hmm okay and they're really big kind of biomes what spawns in them oh that was an accident went to place a torch what is that all right come on don't fail on me now render don't fail on me now what's going on here with this hill Oh, nothing much. Nothing special. Dude, this savannah is awesome. This savannah, or however however it's said. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, goodbye, everybody.